famously sang about being in the right place at the wrong time, but Dr. John's more than half-century career proved he was more often in the right place at the right times. Been in the right place, but been the wrong time. Dr. John won six Grammys, was inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, and became an icon in the music industry and an ambassador for the New Orleans sound across the world. Still, in one interview with us, he said he tried not to let success go to his head. I don't think about any of that. You know what? The, the, the stuff I think about is like, right now I'm thinking about music, I'm, I'm, what, I'm, what I'm doing next. What's there, it, it, that don't matter, any of that. It's like, that's the kind of stuff you get. If I, if I let my brains ever go in that direction, I'm gonna have an extra wop. I already got plexus too many. I already got wop brain cells that's useless. So I gotta keep focused on other stuff. Dr. John was born in New Orleans where he was better known by his given name, Mac Rebeneck. He began his musical career as a guitarist and session musician on recordings by fellow musical greats like Professor Longhair, Art Neville, and Frankie Ford. A move to Los Angeles in the 60s had him backing Sonny and Cher, the Rolling Stones, and Aretha Franklin. Walk on gilded splinters. But soon he developed his own persona as Dr. John, the Night Tripper. It was a mix of voodoo funk and psychedelic rock that paid homage to his New Orleans roots. But he admitted his gravelly New Orleans voice wasn't that of a singer's. His debut album, Grigri, changed all that and put him on the road to stardom. It was a rocky road at times, and he admitted, like many other rock and roll stars, that he dabbled in drugs. Such a night. Such a night. But the hits kept on coming from such a night another bride, another groom. to his 1989 collaboration with Ricky Lee Jones for Makin' Whoopi, which won him a Grammy, the first in a long line of Grammy Awards. His voice became one of the most recognizable in the world, featured on everything from cartoons and kid shows to Popeye's chicken commercials. I love that chicken from Popeye. As he reached the top of the music world, he always gave credit to his New Orleans roots and the giants who came before him. And I'd like to thank Professor Longhair. I'd like to thank Huey Pianist, Mid James Book, and all the great piano players in New Orleans all the great musicians in New Orleans, and God bless y'all. Thank you. Eric Paulson, Thanks. Eyewitness News.